Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to make creative hand-drawn arrows and circles in PowerPoint 2013. First off, let me answer the big question you may have in your mind. Why should you learn how to create your own hand-drawn elements like circles and arrows when you can get them from the net for free? Here are my two reasons. First, when you learn how to create your own hand-drawn elements, you have freedom. You can create them the way you want, so your slides look the way you want. Whereas when you pick up these elements from the net, then you may have to make do with what is already available. Second, not all the elements that you see on the net are free of copyright. You may get into unnecessary legal hassle when you pick up graphics from the net randomly. So because of those two big reasons, and the third reason that it is extremely easy to learn how to create these hand-drawn elements, you should always learn how to create your own hand-drawn elements to get full control of your slide creation process. So with that said, let me show you how to create beautiful hand-drawn circles and hand-drawn arrows like this from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Lines, I'm going to pick up this tool called as Curve Tool. And then I'm going to draw the circle on the slide. I'm going to click first and then move my cursor to the left and click again. And then as you can see here, as I move my cursor, you can see the curve coming along with the cursor. I'm going to click somewhere around here and I'm going to click somewhere to the right corner or the right extreme. And then I'm going to finish it somewhere over here. Now this is how we create a hand run circle. Now this one doesn't really look the way that you want it to be because we have randomly clicked on the various parts of the circle. It is always possible for us to edit the circle after we drew the circle. So that is what I'm going to show now. So first I'm going to increase the thickness of the outline. So I'm going to right click on this shape, go to format shape, go to the line option under the fill option here, go to width and maybe make it around say five points and that is the kind of uh, width that I would really like to have. And second, if you see closely, there is a squarish end to these lines which make it look fairly artificial. I want to make this whole thing look a lot more natural than the way it is right now. So let me go into the options here called cap type and join type and I'm going to change them. So cap type is flat here and I want to have it round. And the join type is meter here and I'm going to make this round and now you can see that the ends of each of these lines is now rounded. Now that is more like the way that I want. Then I'm going to close this and I'm going to make a few adjustments here so this circle looks a lot more professional. I'm going to right click on this and go to edit points and you will see these black squares here which are the Bezier curve points. I can always manipulate the shape of this particular curve by clicking on one of these uh, black squares here and I can use these handles to change the shape of these circles. I can click on any of the square even at the edge and I can extend it to the way that, you, that I want. I can uh, move the center point of this black square where I want. I can make it rounded like the way it is. I can click on this. I can play with the various handles here. It's fairly difficult for you to get the exact signs of what is the right way to uh, get the right shape you want. It is purely based on experience and uh, experimentation. And once you're happy with the end result, then you click outside and you have a beautiful hand-drawn circle available. Now you can always change the color of this, which is one of the privileges you get because you drew this circle yourself. And if you wonder that the circle doesn't have the jagged feel of a hand-drawn element, then you can achieve that too. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to right click, copy this particular graphic that I just created and I'm going to right click and paste it and this time I'm going to paste it as a picture. You can see here there are two options. One is use destination theme and the other one is picture. So I click on the option called picture and now what you got is a picture of the graphic that you just drew. Now with this as a picture, you get the option to play with the picture tools in the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Now what are the picture tools that I would like to apply? Let me go to the artistic effects here and let me choose some of the options like pencil sketch. You can see as soon as I chose pencil sketch option under artistic effects, 
right away you can see that organic look for this particular graphic. Now let me show a variation of the effect. Um, let me make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and let me keep it here. And let me apply another artistic effect, maybe something like this. And this gives you a different feel here, pencil grayscale. So let me select that and let me make another copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and keep it somewhere here. And let me see if there is any other effect that I can use. Maybe this or uh, something like this. Yeah, this is another interesting one called line drawing. So as you can see, all these variants really make it look fairly original and organic and you have total liberty to make changes to this original graphic and then convert them into picture and then apply the different artistic effects. So that is how you create hand-drawn circles. So with that done, let us learn how to create hand-drawn arrows, which are fairly similar to what we have created just now. I'm going to delete all the ones that I've just created and I'm going to take the same curve tool that I had earlier, lines curve tool, and I'm going to draw a curved arrow. So I'm going to click on the starting point, click on the middle point, and click on the end point. So that is how the arrow uh, looks, the stem of the arrow looks. Then I'm going to apply the same treatment that I had applied to this circle. So I'm going to select this, go to Format Painter in the Home tab of PowerPoint Ribbon, and then click on this curved line. And this looks fairly nice. The next thing is to draw the arrow head. Now, you might be tempted to use one of the natural arrow heads that are available. Like say, you take this, right click, go to Format Shape, and choose the end type as say, uh, something like this. And you might think that this looks like a hand-drawn arrow, but it doesn't because this looks way too perfect. So we don't want to use that particular option. We want to draw the arrowhead ourselves. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu once again and pick up the same curve tool. Click, click again, and click again. And now what you got is a beautiful arrowhead. This looks organic because we have created this with our hands. So I'm going to select this Format Painter and apply it to the arrowhead that I created. Now, if you want the end to look a little more sharp, then all you need to do is, um, let me make a copy of this so you can see the difference. I can take this, right click and go to edit points, and I can make these segments straight. So I can click on the space between these two black squares by right clicking. You need to have the cursor into crosshairs and then right click and say straight segment. As soon as I did that, you can see that the curve has become a straight segment and I'm going to do that for this segment as well. Now this looks even more attractive and you can always have the option to make it thinner, narrower, smaller, do whatever that you want and make it look as wacky, as interesting as you want. So that is how you create hand-drawn arrows. So let me select all this and delete. Of course, whatever that you had done in terms of converting into picture and then applying artistic effects applies the same to the hand-drawn arrows as well. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you is how to draw those uh, curvy looking arrows. So once again, Auto Shapes menu, pick up the curve tool, click, 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 and then double click. So that is how you create the basic shape. And once it is done, you select this, go to Format Painter and apply it to this one. Now you can edit this the way you want. You want it bigger. I would always like to work with my shapes in a fairly big size so that I have complete liberty to play with the various uh, points here. Now with this done, let me right click on this, go to Edit Points. If you want to add a point somewhere in the middle of the segment, then you can always click on the line. When your cursor turns into crosshair, you can click on it and that will allow you to create a new uh, point where you can use to manipulate. So that is how you do that. And you can click on this, play with the handles and make it a little more curved. And you can click on this and make it a little more uh, interesting like this. You can click on this one and make it not so uh, sharp and you can make it look a lot more rounded. This looks fairly beautiful to me. And you can always draw your arrowhead. So you can go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the curve tool, and then draw a big arrow like the way that we did earlier. And then apply the same effect that we had applied to the arrowhead. And now this looks fairly beautiful. And now you have a beautiful curved arrow available. 
with a little more time with a little more patience you can have any shape that you want for your curved arrows and your slides won't look the same ever again if you want an organic easy going feel for your slides then i would suggest that you try and play with some of these hand drawn elements and you would love the way that your slides look i hope you really enjoyed the beautiful powerpoint tutorial you learnt just now if you did i have a wonderful treat for you i have put together a useful mini training called learn 25 creative powerpoint ideas to make your slides slick and interesting if you are a business presenter like say you are a business owner a business executive a trainer or a consultant you will find this mini training absolutely useful you can sign up for the mini training by clicking on the button here you can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area right below this video so go ahead click on the button here and sign up for the mini training to take your business presentations to a whole new level i'll see you inside the mini training